Hi everybody, this is Sandra, and the word for today is 2 Chronicles 7.14. It says, if my people, my in Greek means Jesus, people who are called, that means proclaim in Greek, by my name, which is Jesus' name in Greek, shall humble themselves, that means subdue themselves, lower yourself, and pray means to intercede, and seek means to worship in Greek, my, which is Jesus' face, and return that mean, and turn that means to return in greek from their wicked which means evil ways then i which is jesus will hear that means to listen from heaven which is the kingdom and will forgive means to pardon in greek their sins means offense in greek and will heal that means to cure their land which means the earth and then exodus 12 13 it says and the blood, in Greek means the blood shed, shall be to you, that means ye in Greek, for a token, which means a sign in Greek, upon the house, which means dwelling in Greek, where ye are, it means where you are. And when I, which is Jesus, see, means to behold, the blood means the blood shed. I, which is Jesus, will pass, means to leap over you, that means ye. And the plague means pestilence in Greek, shall not be upon means against you means ye too destroy that means to ruin you means ye in greek when i which is jesus smite means to slay the land which is the earth of egypt is the country linked northeast africa and there is a upper egypt and a lower egypt so this is what the lord has given me and i haven't put nothing on for a while and um you know, I had told you, uh, I, gosh, I think it's been since 2013, the Lord showed me in a dream that the United States was going to be bombed. Um, God, remember in the Bible with Moses, God told him to tell the people to put the blood over the doorpost and the mantle. That's the same thing that God is saying to do today. We don't use blood anymore, so we use anointed oil. So you're supposed to put an oil on your four corners of your land and get anything has to do with your family, your bank, your house, your uh, if your kids are in college, get everything covered, anoint them with oil, and I uh, and lose Psalms 91 over it. And you know I have told you that God said, and this is not me. God said, if there's any Christian that goes at this next election and you vote for a Democrat. God said he's wiping his hands of you. He's drawing the line. If you also remember when Moses, he came down from the, um, the mountain and he saw all the sin that they were doing, God drew a line. God said, uh, you come on um, this side if you're going to serve me and then you, the ones that want to serve Satan over there and God opened the ground and swallowed them up. God said that if any Christian that goes in there and votes for a Democrat this year. God said he's wiping his hands of you. He said he's not just going to wipe his hands over you. He's going to wipe his hands of your children and your grandchildren. This is not from me. This is a warning from God. So I am telling you, this is our last chance, God said. We're not getting another chance. This is our last chance to turn things around. God said you need to be on your knees. You need to be repenting. You need to be praying. You need to be fasting. So this is what God says. So take it as you will, like it or not, I'm just telling you what the Lord said, so y'all have a good day. Amen.